Driver Joe Tardif starts the 2015 Southwest Drift season in Phoenix. Joe has made the 13-hour drive from his hometown of San Francisco to compete. In Formula Drift, events are held across the country, forcing drivers to travel. Southwest Drift prepares Pro-Am drivers for this experience by holding events in Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Nevada. Good to be out here at Southwest Drift. Uh, a lot of good drivers, fun course. So uh, let's see what I can do on this one. While Joe is well known in Northern California as an experienced drifter, he is relatively unknown in Arizona. After watching Joe on the track during practice, local amateur drivers take time to talk to him. A good start is to drive something slow. Because then you have to learn to drive the car fast and you don't have anything to save you other than relying on your angle, your speed, and your trajectory. Because you don't have grip. The drifting community is one of sharing, and Joe is happy to have others gain from his experience on the track. Yeah, and you gotta evolve. Like, you start with a slower car and, and you move up, and if you got it, you got it. You know, if you don't, just keep having fun. I mean, everyone's got it because it's about right here, yeah. What's in the heart. Exactly. If, 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 if you are addicted to this like I am, then you're gonna not be able to stop. So. <laughs> Car's been feeling really good. Uh, kind of limited on practice time here, so uh, each run it was it was crucial that we went out there and figured out what was working for us and what isn't working for us um, as far as tire pressure. Uh, the course is amazing. I love courses like this where the flow is just constant um, from the entry, very deep entry. I think they said that we were going about 73 miles an hour on the entry, um, and then from there you, know, you scrub a bunch of speed, and then it's all all third gear, um, just fish tailing all the way through the whole course. So, had a lot of fun. Gas tires. Waiting for qualifying, Joe talks to more amateur Vegas. drivers you know, about the upcoming year. Vegas. I want to go to Colorado. I want to go. This is a mini pro too. If you can't do this, then you don't have. You shouldn't go to the next level. You should. <laughs> you should be able to master the basics. The level that you're at, you should be able to almost not be beat before you go to the next level. You got a and lot then of your clutch kicking, the ass end digs in, out. and then you're See, out of there. I understand that, I just don't understand where to do it. See what I mean? Like, I've done it. Well, that comes with seat time. I've done it four times today. Yeah. Like, I'm not. But, but putting yourself in a situation where you're like, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> that's what helps you progress. That's what helps me progress, at least, to where yeah. I'm like, I do not want to feel like that again. Yeah. I need to do something. Well, now I know, like, I'm going to go to a fairgrounds event and just practice that. Just go, yeah. rip it, get it sideways, and just play, like, yeah. learn. When him and I were. So, my first run, I wanted to be conservative. I went out there. Uh, I threw it in hard um, and was in the throttle for pretty much most of the run. Um, came really close to the first outer clip. Uh, was right on the first inner. Went through the back zone really nice uh, and then came out through the last inner clips uh, pretty much right on mark. So I'm um, looking forward to what the qualifying scores will be. See where hopefully I place uh, within the top 16. Um, a lot of good guys out here today. Uh, With a great run, Joe scores an 86 out of a possible 100 points, landing him in second place. Joe's first battle is against Southern California driver Rafina Gomer. Joe is a small correction, but Rathina goes off course, resulting in a zero. In the grade eight, Joe is against Andrew Schulte, 
A local driver, Andrew is used to the hot truck race. Both drivers have great lines, but Andrew is unable to maintain the necessary proximity to Joe. Heading into the final four, Joe faces off against fellow California driver Tony Cisneros and his V8-powered Nissan 240. good. Uh, went into the uh, top four, uh, went up against Tony Cisneros, um, amazing driver, great car. Uh, on my follow run, I was so far up his ass that I damn near couldn't see. Uh, and if it weren't for the uh, Falcon tires underneath my car gripping up with that side grip off throttle, I would have definitely hit him. Um, so it, it was literally just seat of the pants. Trying, to, I try to hit him. When I'm in a battle and I'm against an opponent that I feel is is better than me, uh, I try to hit them. I want to hit them. I'm not going to hit you to try to knock you out, but I want to get so close that I rub my arrow off on you. Uh, otherwise, it's just not exciting for the fans. It's not. It's just not cool. So it's 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 either going to go good or it's going to go bad. There is no just barely getting by. <laughs> it's, it's all in with this stuff, so. But I made two small mistakes and dropped uh, my left tire in one point and my right tire in another point, which gave me a zero on the follow run, which obviously allowed him to advance. Went up into the uh, consolation round, and uh, I went out there, did my lead run, felt really good. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent uh, succumbed to mechanical failure and he wasn't able to do his lead run, so I advanced to the podium and took third place, and now I get to uh, drive home 13 hours with a big smile on my face and trophy in my hand, bringing it home to the Bay Area, so pretty excited. <laughs> I'm glad you got to see it. Yeah, I'm glad you got to see it.